Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video will be about books that I definitely need to get to in 2017. I have 17 books to show you because it is 2017. I've seen a bunch of booktubers do this video and I thought it was a great idea so that I could just tell myself I need to get through these books and I better get to them soon. Most of these books are books that I've had on my shelf for quite some time and I need to get to them because they have just been sitting there and unread on my shelf and I just need to read them. I don't want this video to be super long so I'm going to jump right into it. I might say a little bit about the plot but I'm sure a lot of you already know what half of these books are about anyway so I don't want it to be really long-winded. This intro is long-winded as it is so let's just get into the video. The first book I definitely want to get to in 2017 is The Shadow of the Wind by by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. This book has been on my shelf for years now and I have yet to get to it. Everybody has talked about it, been raving about it, and I have yet to read it. Obviously it's in this video. It is set in Barcelona in 1945 and it is about a man, a young man, who has lost his mother and finds solace in a book which is called The Shadow of the Wind, hence the title of this book. So it is a book within a book. On the back it says, an epic story of murder, madness, and doomed love. So it sounds really interesting. I definitely need to get to it. The next book I want to get to is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I have watched the first season of this show and part of the second season. I really need to finish that. I love this TV series and I figured that I should read the books that inspired it all. This is the first one in the series. I think there's like eight in the series so far. I don't know if she's making any more, but if you don't know what this is about, although I'm sure you do, this is about a woman from, let's see, 19... Oh, 1945 again. Wow, look at that. <laughs> it's about a woman who's from the year 1945 and she goes to visit Scotland with her husband after the war, I believe. Yes, back from the war. And they go to visit Scotland and somehow she's transported back in time to 1743. And yeah, she meets a guy there and things start to go down. And I have heard from my sister who has read this book that it is very, very similar to the first season of the show. So I know I'm gonna love it, I just need to get to it. It's a beast, but I'm gonna love it. Book number three is Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan, another massive book on my list. Another goal that I had for 2017 was to read a lot of my big, massive, gigantic books fantasy mostly and just get through them. So this is one of them. This is the first book in a series, the Ryria Revelations series. Probably pronounced that wrong. But yeah, I believe it is about two characters who have been framed, I want to say. And yeah, one's a thief and the other is a mercenary and they've been framed. So I believe it's them trying to clear their name possibly. I have heard great things about it. So I can't wait to read it. I'm very excited. Now the next book on my list is one that like I'm not excited to read. I just need to read it to finish the series and it is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. I have said many, many, many times that I am over this series, sick and tired of it. But since I was so invested in it and since I did enjoy the first three books in this series, I decided that I should finish it so that I can understand and uh, be able to read the new series, which it starts with Lady Midnight and don't... I know people are going to be like, well, if you hate this series, don't read the other ones. Well, the thing is, I do love Infernal Devices. I love that trilogy, but I'm over this one. So the reason why this is on the list is because it is the last book in the Mortal Instruments series and I need to finish it already. So it's on my list. I'm going to get to it this year. It's going to be over with. <laughs> Books number five and six are part of a series. It is the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. So we have The Well of Ascension and The Hero of Ages books two and three. I have read the first book, The Final Empire, maybe two years ago, not sure, but I just need to finish this. I need to get into it. I love the first one. I started reading Well of Ascension. I don't know why I put it down, but I did. I regret it because I was enjoying it, but yes, I just need to get to this, and as well as all the other Brandon Sanderson books that I have on my shelf, but these are top priority, definitely. Now book number seven is more of an author that I need to read another book from, and she is a classic writer. I just need to read another book by Jane Austen. I have already read Pride and Prejudice and I really, really, really enjoyed it. So I just need to read one of her other novels. I have all of her books in this beautiful box set. 
I can open it. Yeah, I have all of our books in this beautiful box set and I definitely need to read one of them. Let's see, we have Persuasion and Lady Susan. It's all in one book. We have Northanger Abbey, Emma, Mansfield Park, Pride and Pe Prejudice, and Sense and Sensibility. Like I said, I've already read Pride and Prejudice. I just need to read one of her other ones. And I'm not sure which one I want to read yet, so I'm going to ask you guys for some help. If I really enjoy Pride and Prejudice, which one should I pick up next to read and hopefully enjoy? So help me out there. I'll read, hopefully I'll read one this year. Maybe two. I don't know. But let me know which one I should pick up because I need some help. <laughs> the next book I want to get to in 2017 is another gigantic book. And it is The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. I read... The Name of the Wind by him, the first book in this trilogy. Loved it. I It made my favorite book of 2013. I just looked this up. I'm pretty sure it was 2013. It's my favorite book of the year and I just have yet to get to the second one. The third one isn't even out yet but you know I just need to get to it. And it has been optioned for a, either a film or a TV series. Not entirely sure but yeah, that's exciting news. This one is a beast. It's huge. I think it's exactly 1,000 pages long. It's going to take some time to get into or get through, <laughs> but I know I'm going to enjoy it. I think it's going to be awesome and I just need to get through it. The next book I need to get to is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo or Lee Bardugo. This is the second book in a duology in the Six of Crows duology and yeah, I just need to get to it because the first one was really, really, really good and I've heard this one is just as good if not better. I did start to read it and then I put it down for some reason as I usually do. I don't, I never know the reason why I put the book down but yes, I put it down and I need, just need to finish it. It was, the first one was so good about characters who go on heists and then there's romance and just a lot of a lot of stuff going on. I, there's a lot of diversity in this series and I love it, love it, love it. So I need to get to this and finish it. I love her writing. I love her Grisha trilogy. So I know I'm gonna love the second book in her duology. She also just announced that she is releasing another book in this Grisha universe. So that's exciting. Definitely need to finish this. Next we have another book that is part of a series and it is Frozen Tides by Morgan Rhodes. This is the fourth book in the Fallen Kingdom series. The fifth one was just released and I have yet to read this one and I heard it's amazing. So <laughs> I need to get to it. I, I think I started this one too and then put it down. I, I don't know. I just I need to get to them. All right now this one I'm a little bit embarrassed about because I have started it like three times now and have yet to finish it but this will be the year. It has to be the year that I finish this and it is A Dance with Dragons by George R.R. R. Martin, the fifth book in his Song of Ice and Fire series and I need to finish it. I need to get through it. I don't know what was stopping me every single time I started it but I need to finish it because I love Game of Thrones and I can't call myself a fan if I haven't even gotten through this fifth book. So yeah, I need to get with everybody else in the whole waiting game for that, yeah, that six books. So yeah, this I'm embarrassed that this is even on my list, but it, yeah, I need to get to it. Definitely need to get to this one in 2017. Next we have another book that is part of a trilogy and this is the second book in the trilogy. It is Kingslayer by Jay Kristoff, the book two of the Lotus War trilogy. I read book one, it made my favorite list along with The Name of the Wind, I think it was the same year, and I loved it, <laughs> and this one, I just, I it's been on my shelf for years now, and I have yet to get to it. The first book is called Storm Dancer. If you don't know, I will read a blurb that pa Patrick Rothfuss actually said about the first book on this one actually. They said, what's that? You say you've got a Japanese steampunk novel with mythic creatures, civil unrest, and a strong female protagonist? I'm afraid I missed everything you said after Japanese steampunk. That's all I really needed to hear. So yes, that's all you really need to hear is Japanese steampunk with a strong female lead, really cool mythical creatures, and yeah, there's a lot to it and very intense, enjoyable read. So definitely pick it up if you haven't already. But yeah, I need to get to this second book so I can get to the third book, which is called End Singer. It's up here on my shelf. I definitely need to finish this whole trilogy, but for sure need to get to the second one. Next book is also a part of a series. It's one I've been reading for a very long time now. It is the final book in the series. It is called Sorcerer Air by Cinda Williams Chima. 
I adore her books and I adore this series, the first one being The Warrior Heir. I've read them for years now and I just need to finally finish the whole trilogy off. Another book I need to get to is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I've heard nothing but great things about this book and the whole trilogy. The third one I believe is coming out very soon. Again, this is another book that I started and then put down. I just need to get to it already. What is wrong with me? I also need to get to Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi, the second book in the Shatter Me trilogy. I have the third one as well, but I need to get to this one first, obviously. The first one I think also made my favorite books of 2013 and I still have yet to read this one and it has been way too long on my shelf and I just need to get to it. I know Whitney from Whitney Novels really loves it obviously and I need to get to it. I remember really enjoying the magic system and the way that it kind of reminded me of X-Men where we they all the characters had unique powers and stuff so I need to get to it. I also need to get to The Kite Runner by Khaled Husseini. I'm not even sure what this book is about, but I know that it is supposedly really, really good. Best book of the year. Uh, yeah, everybody raves about him as an author. I have his other two books on my shelf as well. I really just need to get to this. I, 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 no more excuses with these books. I need to get to all of them. And then finally, the last book I have to show you is more, is, again, it's another author. I really need to read another Murakami book. I read Hard Boiled Wonderland and the End of the World by him and enjoyed it thoroughly. So I need to pick up another book by him. I have two on my shelf. Oh, my little wolf. <laughs> I have Norwegian Wood and, ah! I have Norwegian Wood and Kafka on the Shore. I read the back of these and I don't really remember what they're about, but... Yeah, I just need to get to one of these because I need to read more Murakami. He's a great writer and I really enjoyed the, fir the first book that I read by him. So I need to get to one of these. I heard that his writing's beautiful and I, I mean I read it too so it is beautiful but I need to get to one of these for sure. So yeah, those were 17 books that I need to get to in 2017. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please comment down below and let me know what book I should pick up first out of all these books. There's a lot. I know, I need to get to all of them eventually, and I'm hoping 2017 will be that year. Please like this video and subscribe if you are already, and I will see you all next time. Bye!